and all who inhabit it, my name is Jessica J, aka Jesse J, please, and welcome to the Double Progression Trouble 5D's tiebreaker. This is a thing we are doing because we put it in a donation incentive in a recent Double Progression Trouble uh, stream, and we hit that incentive. We do not need a tiebreaker for this season. The games that we're about to play is an idea that Sophie and I had in our back pocket for if it came to that, if the scores were tied up and we needed to break that tie. As of now, I am the winner of the 5Ds era and the point distribution of this particular game will not affect that, but we are going to go ahead and do it anyway for a little bit of fun. The idea for the tiebreaker is as follows. Sophie and I will each play three different games with three different decks, and those decks cannot share cards that are in our collection, at least in the main deck. What that means is if I had three copies of Instant Fusion, I can only play a max of three Instant Fusions across three deck lists. So I could play two in one list, one in another, and zero in the third. I can play one in all three of them, or I can play three in one of those lists and none in uh, any of the other ones, which is what I am doing. This also means that if we got lucky and pulled like nine copies of a certain common card, we can uh, still use three copies of them in all three lists. The other important thing to note about these games is that we are rewinding the clock to pre-Mega Ban. So this is the final format of the Double Progression Trouble 5Ds era before we do the uh, Ban 75 cards situation to prepare for the next season, giving us one last time to experiment with all of these archetypes that we saw in the 5Ds era before we say goodbye to this era. So yeah, that's it. Three decks, three games. Whoever wins two of those three games will be the winner and receive one final point, uh, leaving the 5Ds era, which also means that they will receive an extra pack uh, to open at the beginning of next season. Starting off with our first deck list, this should be uh, not terribly surprising for those of y'all who watched the finale. This is TG Psychic. This is a deck that I came very close to playing for the finale before settling on Karkuri Reptilian. But this deck is very, very strong. We have the TG monsters, which have a lot of recursion as well as individually powerful effects. We have Reinforced Truth as a way to search out TG Striker. And then we have TG1 EM1 as a creature swap, a card that will take my TG monster and put it on Sophie's side of the field while I get to steal one of Sophie's monsters. This is really good because stealing monsters is really good. And also, if I destroy the TG monsters on Sophie's side of the field, I still get the recursion. I still get the effect that activates that lets them search out more TG monsters. We are playing those monsters alongside the Psychics. Uh, we are just looking at a pure smorgasbord here. We are playing one Master Gig, one Armored Axon Kicker, one Final Psychic Ogre, uh, one Psychic Snail, one Krebons, one Psychic Commander, and one Esper Girl, in addition to two Serene Psychic Witch and two Hushed Psychic Cleric. This is maybe not the optimal strat, but there are just a interesting variety of psychic monsters, and I want to see how they interact with each other. In addition to those cards, we've got one Pashul and one one Doppel Warrior as additional targets for Reinforced Truth and one Scrap Beast so I can cope off of Instant Fusion into Scrap Twin Dragon one last time. One Miracle Synchro Fusion so I can cope into Ultimate Axon Kicker one last time. We've got Double Cyclone and Mirage of Nightmare and Blast with Chain as an interesting combo I have access to. And beyond that, it's a lot of cards that you've seen very frequently. Emergency Teleport, Instant Fusion, Pot of Avarice, Kunai with Chain, Spellbinding Circle, and Half Counter. For Miracle Synchro Fusion targets, we've got Ultimate Axon Kicker and Dra Dragonite Draco Quest. For Instant Fusion targets, we've got Flame Swordsman, Guilty of the Dean Knight, Carbonella Warrior, Darkfire Dragon, and the Fusionist. And our Synchro Pool is Scrap Twin Dragon, TG Power Gladiator, Black Winged Dragon, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Exploder Dragon Wing, Iron Chain Dragon, a lot of fucking dragons, and Magical Android. So, that is deck number one. I will see y'all in the game. So, does this deck look familiar? It probably should, because I changed like three, four cards since I last played this. I was honestly shocked building these three decks, how easy it was to find three different strategies with mostly distinct card pools. 
that had enough card theft over, I could pretty easily put together three competent decks. The card quality in the 5D's era has just been really high. With these bugs, for example, stuff like Solidarity, like Verdant Sanctuary, Lairwire, are incredibly powerful tools that don't really work in other decks, so we can bring this deck out completely unchanged and probably stomp Jess with it. Hopefully. Maybe. Back in custom cards just this once, and uh, playing a couple of tiebreakers, which aren't really going to be breaking any ties. We're just doing this for style. We're just doing this for fun, and we're just doing this to maybe see some of the extremely powerful, extremely broken decks that we didn't get a chance to see in the, uh, in the series before this point. Perhaps, perhaps. We ain't breaking ties, but let me tell ya, we are gonna be breaking thighs. Am I right, lady? Oh, I fucking hope. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. Uh-oh. I would always sit off. Be, be, be cool about this. Alright, just to cool. remind you, um... We are, since these are three best of ones, we're playing it in such a way that, like, you are allowed to look at your opening five cards, and if you don't like what you see, you can shuffle it and draw four new ones. Um, now, this isn't perfect. This isn't flawless. Yeah, I am also good with my opener as well. Hmm. <laughs> I think we are going to set one... Um, and I think we're going to normal summon Psychic Commander and pass. <laughs> oh, there he is. Mr. Custom himself. <laughs> Making a triumphant return once again. Um, I appreciate your lack of an extra deck. Um, it makes me very nervous immediately. I don't need that shit. What would I do with an extra deck? You synchro summon? Who does that shit? Not me. You didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> you you trying to summon wait, wait, things wait, wait, in wait. face up defense mode like in the fucking you anime? Seen anything? Come on. <laughs> yeah, it could be I, any monster. It could be literally any monster. Um. All right. Since it could be literally any monster, I think we're gonna tribute Psychic Commander in order to summon Final Psychic Ogre. Damn, of all the Psychic Ogre, that sure is the last one. This is the last Psychic Ogre that ever existed. You can tell because he's gay as all hell. Um, mm -hmm. Let's attack your monster, which again could be anything in the entire game. My god, it's Pinch Hopper. That's crazy. So, Chain Link uh, 1, pay 800. Chain Link 2, you can go ahead and Pinch Hopper. Yeah, I'm gonna summon my fucking guy. Or... My okay. deck Snyder Spider. I think that's Snyder the deck you were Spider. Doing last time I played this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I like, uh, uh, yeah. I looked at the P and thought it was an N for some reason. This guy doesn't beat Final Psychic Ogre, and you're not using him for synchro plays, so I'm not sure what the uh, plan from this position is. I'll let you show me. All right. So it's bold of you to assume this doesn't beat Final Psychic Ogre. Uh, well, you know. Yeah. And also, what I'm at it. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I guess I should have been maining Fairy Wind. Big. Bug. M more bug. So oh, many bug. My face In when additional bug. Infinite bug. Alright, so that's a 3100 attack bug. I might just be fucked from this position. This is irritating as fuck. <laughs> God. This is the downside of playing without a side deck, is that you're just playing mm -hmm. this dog shit. Um, it's a 16 and that's gonna be 26. Yeah, 26. <laughs> yeah, listen, you were talking before this game about getting to see powerful strategies we didn't see through the season, but here we are with Solidarity Big Shit versus Psychex. Jesus. Um, I think ah. we are going to reinforce truth here. Um... And we will grab. God, I need to play to my outs is the problem, and I don't know if I have that many. Um, I. 
I guess we will special um Jesus mother of god I might just lose from this position we'll just go TG striker and go TG warwolf as well alright seems good alright um well that's not a bad card to try to find an out we will go mirage of nightmare oh famously legal card in DPD for sure alright and then what the fuck are we doing? Well, I guess um, one thing we can do is sync TG Warwolf and TG Striker um, into a magical android, a normal summon psychic commander, and then if you don't have a response, uh, we will just make a black winged dragon. <laughs> Shockingly. Oh, wait, no, that does bad fire, I guess. But. Yeah, well, red I mean, a dragon. It's a big guy. Yeah, red dra the problem is, red dragon archfiend dies to Snyder Spider as well. Um, and I right. don't really have an incentive to lose it um, in either of these guys' clear pinch hopper. I do, indeed. Um. I guess we might as well do that without changing destiny. Uh, sure. So, any normal summon in the deck wins from this position. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you, you do get to gain life point to all your damage to me. Oh. Also changing destiny. Um, and is this original or current? Um, it is current. Okay. Um, so that will be... Uh, yeah, I will gain 1,300 to try to insulate myself. Um, it, it, it's off of uh, your monster, so it's 1,400 you gain. Oh, broken. Very broken. Um. Alright, what? I'm... Night of Spider, like, does something, right? Oh! Oh, fuck, I never, I never read this card. <laughs> oh, if I do that, I lose horror. Wait, wait, wait. But if I do that, I turn off Solidarity. Hold up. Oh, good idea. I think it's a great idea. You should definitely um, do it. I have a new plan. I am not going to be a dumb shit. Oh, also, Mirage, oh, also Mirage. Mirage of yeah, yeah. Nightmare is a... <laughs> We're so good at Yu-Gi-Oh! The thing about us is that we have just never not been good at Yu-Gi-Oh! at any given point. That is true. Alright, um, so that's eh. gonna be 3,100. I will set one, and now we get to resolve Mirage of Nightmare on Dueling Book. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, uh, go ahead and, uh, select a couple of my cards. Uh, at least it's only two, at least it's only two. Uh, it's gonna be TG Striker. No. No. <laughs> yup. Uh, and instant fusion. Okay, so we're gonna set one, set two, and send it back your way. Sounds good. I will draw. And I will also draw. Yeah, that seems good. A uh, Verdant Sanctuary. Hysterical. Alright. The odd spell achieved. I uh, will hit with Spider. It's Pashuel! Um, sure. Alright, that attack fails, and... Oh, well, this is actually really annoying the way it works out, isn't it? Um, honestly, I think it's fine. I'll lay while the pursuer. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean annoying? You just win. It turns off solidarity, so it's not lethal, which is why it gets a bit awkward. It is lethal, cause oh, I guess because you no, like attacked. attacked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like I think the sanctuary means I'm in a good enough spot. It's fine. Losing my boost for a turn, but all right. So, so now that's gonna be three cards for Mirage. All right. All right. One. Uh, no. Oh god. Please. 
one again, sure. A psychic snail. And one more roll will be the point. Cool. That'll be a TG Warble. Well, um, it's gonna be set one, uh, normal Krebens, and, um... See, there is a world where it's not even correct to attack the Pinch Hopper. But then if I leave the Pinch Hopper, you're just going to, like... God, this is not a good situation. I guess I have to pass. Yeah, you know, I think that's correct. Letting me rock vote in this turn seems bad. Alright, do any work? I have a turn? I can. Alright. Draw a four. Yeah, listen, regardless of how the rest of this match goes, I think we can all agree that it would have been wrong to say goodbye to 5 Ds without normal summoning Krebins one last time. <laughs> uh. Bug. Hello, Bug. Bug. Alright, um. I guess we are going <laughs> to no spell way. binding circle the Bug. Oh, okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, Bug 2, the sequel. Oh, uh, we will kunai t using both effects. <laughs> alright, alright. I mean, we're kind of doing it. Um. We're still here, baby. I, I think I'm gonna just try to crash the hopper. <sighs> um, I can't pay 800 for this. I have to just like let. Uh, at some point, I have to just like let you do things. Cool. I will take seven, so solidarity is back online, and I will pick up a level four insect. And what's gonna grab um, another one of this guy? Why not? Um, that's gonna be it. Alright, there might be a path out of this if I just draw one of my fucking double cyclones. Um, I don't think I can afford to discard four next turn. Um, so we will see. Damn it, that's not cyclone. Just right, roll it. Okay, just roll one time and I'll yeah. discard everything that's not that one. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I'll keep in this one. Hmm. We're running a lot of ones today. Alright, uh, so that's gonna be TG1 EM1, uh, TG Warwolf, uh, Serene Psychic Witch, and Master Gig. <sighs> well, uh. <sighs> no time like the present, uh, Miracle Synchro Fusion. Oh my god, that's the one card you capped! <laughs> um, we're going to banish the Krebins and the uh, magical android, and. It's unbelievable. We will uh, summon Ultimate Axon Kicker. <laughs> um, we will go to Battle Phase and hit Snyder Spider. Uh, this is like, this is definitely the best card it could have been, uh, but it, you're. It is. Yeah. I take okay. 1900. And then I will and you gain. gain a bunch. Yeah, and also, um, the nice part is that your crossword beetle is still under spellbinding. God, I still just like eat shit to a lot of top decks. Like, you could straight up attack over Ultimate Axon Kicker with most of the cards in your deck, but we probably get another chance to draw a double cyclone, so maybe? Um. To that. Wait, also, does, um... I'm pretty sure with Axon Kicker you were getting the current attack of the spider, right? Doesn't say original. Ooh, yeah, 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 you're right. That's actually... That actually yeah, makes 16. me feel a lot better, actually. Okay. Yeah. It also means I have to think a bit, because that means you have a lot of life points. Um... Oh, wait, math. Alright, I think... I think this does do it. Um, I will a Book of Eclipse in the end phase. Sure. You may draw one. Okay. I will draw. Fuck off! Exactly when I fucking needed them. 
No. And also the other one. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I will run out the other beetle I searched last turn. Flip beetle number one. We will go to battle. And now, because I control two insects, the crosswords are giving each other piercing. Um, so that, yeah, that's gonna be 1700 in piercing. And then I'm just and... dead. Wow, what a fucking... Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> God, we just... If we had just drawn a double cyclone and been able to use some of our goddamn resources, we could maybe do something about that. Ah, oh, fuck solidarity. Fuck that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Big bog. Good lord. Uh, just insects kicking Psychic's ass one last time <laughs> on their way out the door. Yeah, shout out to Solidarity for hard carrying one of the dumbest things to ever win on DPT. The summon Big Bug. <laughs> yeah. I literally have nothing interesting in here, by the way. It's, it's literally the deck I played in the first bug episode with, like, two cards changed. God, at least I'm trying to bring decks that I haven't brought before. Okay, you brought this deck. You played this deck. I didn't play- I didn't play it with Reinforced Truth. <laughs> Not fair. I didn't play it with Reinforced Truth and Mirage of Nightmare. Completely different deck. Very true, very true. Alright, um, shall we do the second one? Let's do it. All right, and here, viewers, uh, is the second deck that we're going to be bringing. The biggest limitation in deck building for this was the extra deck. The synchro pool has been pretty heavily removed at this point, meaning I thought I really only had enough to play one synchro deck. And this, is, of course, is it. It's Karakuri, baby. Nanishi goes crazy. Trick House goes nuts. Shredder is here. Again, basically unchanged. This deck is so powerful. And also I have like 10 inverse universes. So I can just keep playing this forever. For my second list, I have decided to run out Insect Ritual once again. We played this deck once in the GX era, but for the 5Ds era, we have a couple more support cards in the form of Layer Wire as a really, really good removal card, and Verdant Sanctuary as a, a really good way to get recursion from our insect monsters. Beyond that, though, this deck is liable to be pretty bricky and pretty risky. It has really strong plays, advanced Ritual Art as a way to send insects to the graveyard to set up Lair Wire and Doom Dozer is really, really cool. But a lot of the monsters in this deck are not particularly up to snuff. We're playing a bunch of vanillas, including Garoch and Kuwagata, Neo Bug, and Metal Armored Bug. We've got Howling Insect, which unfortunately does not have a huge number of targets in this deck. We randomly only pulled one copy of Pinch Opper in the DM era, which would otherwise be the best thing to be running in this deck. So we're stuck playing stuff like Fire Ant A Sector, Ask as Catter, something, something like that. It's a tuner, which is the reason that we're playing it as a Howling Insect target, but it's really, really not good otherwise. Beyond that, we are also playing Millennium Scorpion and Grass Chopper as potential things we can summon off of our two copies of Insect Imitation, which lets us trip in an insect monster and summon an insect from our deck, which has one level higher than the insect that we tributed. Actually, it's not an insect that you need to tribute. It's an insect that you summon, but the tribute can be anything. So we can actually tribute Manju, so that's actually kind of important. Beyond that, we are playing our three level 8 ritual monsters that can be summoned off of Advanced Ritual Art, Reshef the Dark Being, Ruin Queen of Oblivion, and the Masked Beast. We are playing a couple copies of Crossword Beetle. We've got a couple copies of Swing of Memories as a way to get Vanillas out of our graveyard. We can use this to set up Synchro Plays, as well as use it as a removal spell if we have Metal armored bug in our graveyard. Wait, why did I put Pot of Avarice in this uh, deck? That is illegal. Pot of Avarice will not be in this deck. Uh, we, I guess it makes sense that we're playing 40 cards. But beyond that, we've got three copies of Inverse Universe and some of the exact same synchros that we just saw. Plus a couple copies of Splendid Rose, just because we have room for it. It's not particularly good in this deck. This is not a plant deck, but it's another generic six that we can summon, and we have the room for it. So that's deck number two. Hope we summon some big insects and big rituals.
Alright, at least I managed to summon Ultimate Axon Kicker and it actually mattered a little bit. Also, very amusing that you won a single game with um, the uh, Book of Eclipse before we said <laughs> goodbye to this format. Ah, uh, you know, what had to happen. It's so annoying! Happen. That was the one of, too! <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, actually, I... Do I want to re reshuffle this? No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Seems good. I am also... Pretty happy with this hand, because it has a Karakui Merchant in a in in it. Okay... We will fire in a Shichi. You know we're picking up Trick House. Sure. Um, and then it's just gotta be Anatomy Set One Pass. Good lord, you just have everything. Alright, um. Maybe I should have reshuffled. Jesus Christ. Um. Fuck you, pass. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. Um. Oh. What do I want to do? I can get more stuff if I want. Um, I think what we're just gonna summon monsters. Quick. Sure. Meh. All right. Me. God, why are you bringing good decks? You're taking this more seriously than any of the games we played in the series. <laughs> I thought we were. I, I, I just assumed we were playing stuff. I don't know. Oh my god. All right. Um, I guess we will normal summon Manju of ten thousand hands. Oh, baby. Um, we will add from deck to hand. A um copy of Advanced Ritual Art. It's back. It's fucking back. We're so fucking back, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, we will. Hmm. Actually, we have some sauce we can do. We have a little bit of sauce. We're gonna activate Advanced Ritual Art. Seems good. I am going to send from deck to graveyard a copy of Metal Armored Bug. And we are so we fucking are so back. fucking back. I'm gonna summon Reshef the Dark Being. Do you have a response? Oh god, no that I mean you know the background. It ain't doing shit here. We're gonna declare it, uh we're gonna pitch this insect Wait, no 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 <laughs> I can't do that! Cause I was going to use the insect imitation to tri tribute your quick. Hmm. I guess hmm. Actually I need to think about this. Because, like, you have the, um, yeah. So I think I want to actually not use Reshef's effect because I know what your back row is, and I want to get two monsters that matter. So I am going to activate Insect Imitation. <laughs> We're going to tribute Manju of 10,000 hands and summon... Banned in Prague Playoff Season 2 Staple Millennium Scorpion. <laughs> Let go! <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, man. So, you can destroy one of these guys. You can't destroy both of them. Uh, we will go... Um, you're getting anatomy no matter what. Uh, I can't do anything about that. We'll go Reshef into quick. Sure. I will get my counter and... Yeah, I guess we'll just pot the rush off now. Okay. Uh, and then we will go Millennium Scorpion in too quick. Uh, so that will go Bup, Bup, Ow. And now Millennium Scorpion is 2500! It's busted! It is actually unstoppable. Please right. don't draw literally anything. I am going to attempt to draw literally anything. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I needed, actually. That's exactly <laughs> what I needed. <laughs> you know, I guess if it's got three Ds in its name, I might as well draw three copies, huh? <laughs> um, 
on, Nanisha. <laughs> Uh, I mean, sure, whatever. We are Nanishi into Quack. Okay. We will make, you know, you know what this guy, everyone loves this guy. Power tool dragon, sounds good. I will activate the guy. We'll get his shackles. Okay, good. But the issue here is if one of those traps is something that revives the metal armored bug, and there's a pretty high chance that it is. I don't know how the fuck I'm beating it. Um... But we can start by trying to get through the scorpion. I will... Yeah. put that bitch in chains. Okay. Eh. Alright, so that's gonna be 400... And... 23. Bold of you to assume we didn't ban all the trap cards that resurrect normal monsters. We gotta have like one left in there, right? Not trap well. cards. We banned we banned soul resurrection and birthright. We could do Oh that's God, just the, for the time. That's just the best fucking draw in the deck. God damn it. Uh crossword beetle. <laughs> <laughs> well, well truly you uh it seems like you are having a little bit more luck with the fucking insects. Um... Uh... Heal! Sure. Get in there! Uh, we will... Power to all... Reveal a few... So, like, technically, if I commit something here, I could get lethal, but if back row does anything, I'm just blowing the only card in my hand that... does anything... Uh, so I'm not gonna sweat it for now. Alright, that's gonna be 500. And 14 off the skill. Alright, unfortunately most of the- most of my deck is dog shit in this situation. And... yeah, that's not gonna do it. Fuck. Yeah, the problem is I have Neobug and then uh, the other card is Masked Beast. My back row is Inverse Universe, Inverse Universe, and Inverse Universe. Oh, All of which no. are very good versus Power Tool Dragon. I got fucking dunked on! Jesus fuck! Yeah, I didn't really expect you to play good decks. I didn't have much of an answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, I... So it's interesting, right? Like, I guess, like, I could have tried to hook up some real stupid shit, right? But, like, the mindset I went into this with was thinking, like, all right, I'm gonna try to make the good decks, and I'm sure, like, because of the rules, they're gonna end up having to be janky and weird. And then I realized that 5Ds printed good cards, and actually, you can just find 120 good Yu-Gi-Oh cards in this format. Yeah. It's wild. See, my... Oop, um, that was a mistake. Um, it doesn't really matter too terribly much at this point. Um... See, my thinking was I want to try a bunch of things that I haven't tried yet because we have this opportunity. Uh, but fuck me for wanting to have fun. Uh, do you, uh, let's go ahead and do the third one. The final deck I'm playing is by far my stupidest brew. This is Kodaris Turbo. Kodaris is a card that lets you send one face of Umi to the graveyard to target up to two cards my opponent controls and send them to the graveyard. This is really important that it says send rather than destroy because there are cards like Stardust Dragon and Destruction Jammer that can prevent cards that say destroy but those effects do not work on Kodaris. Kodaris beats Stardust, Dragon, and Destruction Jammer, and pretty much any other form of destruction negation in the format. It's a very powerful effect that is less powerful because it is saddled with playing very weak cards such as Umi and Forgotten Temple of the Deep, which can pretend to be Umi while it's on the field. No matter though, we are playing Triple Mother Grizzly, which makes it much easier to search out Kodaris. We are playing Triple Salvage, which can re 
resurrect Kodaris from the graveyard. We're playing Yomi Ship as an additional Mother Grizzly target as a removal card, and Mermaid Knight, which can attack twice if Umi is up on the field. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with the rest of the deck, so I decided to just fill it out with water bunguses. We've got Gaga Giko, only one Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, two copies of Seven Colored Fish, Triple Gemini Lancer. Hilariously, these cards are all relevant because they don't get their uh, attack and defense swapped with inverse universe up on the field, so that is important. And then we've got one Kawaki Miru Sea Panther, which is a 1900 that stays on the field as long as we have water monsters to reveal in our hand. Beyond that, we are playing stuff like Terraforming and Upstart Goblin to thin out the deck, half counter and inverse universe as ways to make sure that our big guys are winning combat, and then the extra deck is completely useless. It is just a bunch of banned Link monsters. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Oh, it'll be really, really funny if we win, though. I hope we can take it home. You didn't really think you were getting out of this without some Sophie Cope, did you? Like I said, I was expecting to have to walk more to make these decks work, but apparently I can just play whatever the hell I want. So I decided to play the funny alien variant I didn't get to last time, using W Nebula Meteorite to summon out the incredibly kind of, sort of, powerful Cosmic Horror Gangiel, a big alien boss monster. To enable this, we're playing all of the light aliens in Grey and Dog, as well as warm Jet hell lips. I don't know how you're supposed to say this. We're playing like the only playable light reptile in the format, and we are gonna hope it works. If I win with this deck, cool, but if I get to resolve this card in this deck, even cooler. Let's get it. Now, this one for sure is the winner. This one, there's no way that I could possibly get 3-0'd in the unnecessary <laughs> tiebreaker. Surely this is the this is the goo that's gonna get me somewhere. Listen, I will say, this is also a pretty good deck, but this is the one where I am playing some certified dumb shit. Okay. This is um, my worst deck. <laughs> so we'll see what half of the deck I draw. <laughs> No, come on, please. Um, um, um. Oh, this is actually a really hard choice because I get another draw. Um, and there are cards that make this okay. No, I actually, I have to shuffle. We're gonna draw four new ones. Seems good. All right. Um, I think that's better. I think that is better. Well, we will see. Yeah, indeed. Well, I am uh, afraid that it may not matter before the greatest card in my deck, which I'm going to set right here. <laughs> um, and then I'll set another one and pass it back. All right. Um, right back at you. Excellent. Uh... None of these cards do anything. Go ahead. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon Gemini Lancer. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! You fucking fool. <laughs> Behold my warm Vitalix! What the fuck? <laughs> it, was, it will be destroyed by this battle, but because it was flipped face up and then destroyed by battle this turn, it revives itself in defense position. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, you got it, boo. <laughs> uh, stand by main. We will just sack it off for Medusa. Uh, sure. Uh, you should you should make Gemini Lancer zero attack. I think that's a good use of your time. I would agree. I would agree. Um, eh. All right. <laughs> 400. <laughs> ah, thank you, Mr. Warm. I am going to flip summon Mother Grizzly. Mama. We're going to go to battle phase and attack in. That's fine. All right, I'm going to take um 800. And then, Sophie, the card that I'm going to be summoning for my deck is a little number by the name of... 
Kodaris! Oh <laughs> god! He's trying to justify the ban! I am going to activate Forgotten Temple of the Deep. Oh no. No! I'm going to declare the effect and let's take out both your cards. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, well, wait, 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 um, I am going to set one, uh, card because I didn't normal this turn, uh, but I don't have anything else. I will draw. Okay, that is... Hmm. Alright, that is a pretty decent card, but I can't commit it yet, because I need that in order to do the funny stuff. Uh... So we're gonna summon a classic selfie play here, Jess. You've seen this one before. You know it's alien score with zero A counters. <laughs> Sounds good. You know it had to be. Alright, uh, that's gonna be just a cool 200. And I will pass on that. God, I actually, this actually works out, this hand felt like a brick, but it actually works out tremendously well in this situation exactly. Um... I am going to activate Umi. Or just run an OG Umi. Let's go. Let's I'm go. going to flip summon Mermaid Knight. Ah! I am going to normal summon Mermaid Knight. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna get in for a shitload of damage. Oh my god, that's a hundred. And then <laughs> seventeen hundred, seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred again. Holy fuck. Oh, and yeah, god, that's... Oh my lord. <laughs> Kodara's best deck! <laughs> I mean, it might actually be. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just set and pass. Oh my fucking god. Please let this of all the decks be the fucking one that wins. Uh, <laughs> sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Oh. oh my god, it's too big. It was too fucking big! <laughs> Yes! It was all <laughs> worth it! <laughs> uh, man, I could have... I could have gone more aggro last time to, like, clear through the night. But I need, I needed to save the alien dog so I can do my funny play. Oh, my fucking god, yes! Okay, uh, I take it back. This is the best episode we've ever done. This is <laughs> the best idea. Holy fuck. It am. And Saturn gets to do my thing, right? Because, like, it is just aliens. But it's also aliens playing a bunch of trash cards to enable W Nebula Meteor, right? In order to draw a bunch of cards and summon Cosmic Horror Gangiel. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Uh, Cosmic Horror Gangiel is actually a pretty solid card. Kind of surprised that we didn't see it over the course of the various alien games. Or did you summon it the first time we went? I, I don't think I did, but I, like, it got pretty bad after a brainwashing beam got banned. I was like, W Nebula Meteor, right, by the way. Unbelievable card. If there was, like, one more playable worm printed in a main set so we had access to it, I would have been playing this shit all day long. Yeah, shouts out to, shouts out to, uh, fucking Nimdim for, uh, <laughs> managing to take this in the proggies the other day. What a guy. What a guy. What an actual lad. Oh God, we are on so many Umis. We're on Umi without the ass. Let's go. Yeah, we are. The th because of th the idea behind this deck is that, like, with Mother Grizzly, you can gar mostly guarantee that you're summoning out the Kodaris. We have triple salvage to uh, recycle it. Uh, but beyond that, we're just playing a bunch of idiots. We are fully just playing a bunch of guys, and my strategy was just win battles with inverse universe and half counters and vanillas. <laughs> I mean, listen, I wasn't expecting the all, uh, <laughs> casual mermaid knight attacks with 3400. You don't expect that. <laughs> I can't believe how well that worked out. I was sitting here, I had drawn three copies of Mermaid Knight, and I was thinking, wow, <laughs> this is devastating. Nope. I mean, listen, I would defeat one Mermaid Knight, but I would never <laughs> defeat Mermaid Knight, Mermaid Knight, and Mermaid Knight. <laughs> It's just unbeatable. It's an actual OTK. The god cards could never. The god cards could never. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I can't believe 
that um, I couldn't win with TG Psychic, but I won with Umi Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen. L l listen, you're, you're getting the Sophie experience, experience <laughs> right here. Which is you build some shit you think is cool, you roll up, you get shit on. And then you're like, I don't know, I'll play some DM slash DX garbage and you win. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, I was thinking about this, by the way. Have, did I win a match this season that wasn't with a DX archetype? <laughs> like, uh, I... um, uh, well, you did want, win with um, you did win this match, and uh, you won it with Karakuris, and well, I guess one of the decks you played was Insects. So, I mean, does this match count? Insects, it, this uh, this match counts. You get a point off of this. You end the season with five points. You're, it ties you with DM as oh, your best season. Oh, hooray. Wow. <laughs> that counts. Because I won with Alien, Frog, Six Sam. And Insects. Okay, insects. insects. That's new. Insects, That's yeah, new. Insect wasn't really like a full deck in the... Um, uh, GX era. I tried to play Insect, but it was more like Insect and also jamming Spiritual Wind Art Miyavi. Yeah, um, so, what am I going to yeah, do I in this Insect... era? <laughs> <laughs> they stopped printing GX Legacy support for the most part. What am I going to do? Um, well, I think of the Zexel era, you're just... Um, I don't know. We are getting more and more into the era of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you just know a lot more than I do, and I'm just going to have to read a bunch of cards. And I think that's going to be kind of your win-con going forward. Ah, uh, my win condition is not needing to be literate. Glorious. <laughs> uh, no, it's like, it's not that I'm illiterate, it's that, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! cards, especially after the Drooler format, just become actual novels. Konami really does love putting wards on those fellas. For sure. Um, do you have anything else to say about the uh, uh, foolish nonsense that we have conducted in together today? Um, I just want to say again, wild how good 5Ds is. Like, yeah. Um, like, we're just playing good cards. Yeah, I mean, you're playing good cards. <laughs> You you know some of those cards and they are cool. <laughs> I mean, like they did they did win me the game versus uh uh tier zero meta threat aliens. Very true. Very true. Uh, they did what <laughs> this deck did what gladiator beasts could not. <laughs> gladiator beasts could never. <laughs> Thank you one and all for joining us on this episode of Double Progression Trouble. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are subscribed to Sophie, apparently, and we will be back next season for more of this. Yu-Gi-Oh!